Hello guys and welcome to my August empties video. So I will start with candles. I didn't finish off a lot, but I did finish off one full size three wick in Santorini Coast. And this one, like literally the last two days of August, I just went very hard on this one because I wanted to finish it. I didn't want to bring it into next year, but it is one of my favorites. So I was kind of like enjoying the last couple days of summer. So Santorini Coast is creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. Just a really nice, yummy coconut. So love this one. It burns super duper well. And I would definitely repurchase. I also finished off a single wick in sugared snickerdoodle. I forgot that I had this. It wasn't under like my sink and I found it and I burned it and it smells really good. It's a very simple sugar cookie vanilla scent. It's not super like spicy or anything like the snickerdoodle says. It's literally just like a sugar cookie and it smells really good. And then I know I finished this actually a few months ago. This is the Trader Joe's chocolate croissant candle, but I actually went ahead and used it in my um, candle crock and it worked really well. You can see there's no more wick in here because it's somewhere buried underneath all this wax, but it was awesome in the candle crock. So I definitely think I'll be doing it with my like smaller candles that I have a lot of wax left in. Um, I will definitely be putting them in my candle crock just to get a little bit more life out of it. Um, it lasted for like another five days. So that was really awesome. For some reason, I finished off four hand soaps this month. So... <laughs> That's great. Now I can transition into fall hand soaps. So the first one is pineapple Prosecco, which I finished at my sink in my bathroom. Sparkling pineapple bubbly Prosecco and white nectarine. Really yummy scent. Finished off sea salt and lime. And this one I think was at the kitchen sink. It was such a good scent. Chilled lime, fresh eucalyptus, and sea salt. So it was like a fresh citrusy scent. It was really, really good at the kitchen sink. I finished off this one from TJ Maxx. This is Egyptian cotton. Doesn't even actually have a brand, but it's just an Egyptian cotton hand soap from TJ Maxx. And then we finally finished off this Dove Holiday Treats Peppermint Bark one from last year. Um, it was just in like the laundry room, so I don't really wash my hands a lot in there, but we finished it <laughs> this last month because it took a long time. So finished that one. And then as far as body care, I did pretty good on body care as well. I have four full-size items. So I'll show you what I finished outside of my Project Use It Up. I finished Together Weather in the body scrub. I only had a little bit left in this one from last fall. And I picked up a full set in this and returned two out of the three. I just really didn't like this scent. It's Blushing Breeze, Sugar Cardamom, and Soft Cedar. And I think they did bring it out again this year, but it's like very medicinal to me so it's not a favorite <laughs> this was hard to get finished to be honest and I'm not going to cut it open and use the rest because there's definitely more in here I just really did not like this scent so yeah that's that one and then I also finished off my Glossier Body Hero Dry Touch Oil Mist this one I've had for almost exactly a year I got it last August and this was such a good item. Um, it definitely is a dry oil, which means like once you put it on, you don't feel like slick and it doesn't transfer onto your clothes. Cause I've definitely used this and like put on jeans and been totally fine. So I love this. Didn't really have any sort of scent. Just kind of smelled like body oil. Not really anything in particular, maybe just like baby powder ish. Um, but this was awesome, especially after showers when I shaved my legs. So loved it, would definitely get it again. And I probably will get it again if I ever see like a Glossier store maybe. I don't know if I would buy it online. And then I finished Meet Me in Miami in the body lotion during my summer project pan. And this one was Breezy Palm Trees, Cabana Coladas, and Suntan Days. Just a wonderful summer scent. This was so good. It's like a mix between sunscreen and coconut. Just super yummy. Also in my project Use It Up, I finished off the... Sol de Janeiro 62 spray, such a good scent. I'm gonna be sad to see it go, but I'm happy that I'm transitioning into fall scents at the perfect time because I finished this, but I'll definitely be repurchasing it probably in the like jumbo size. And then I also finished this little mini Burt's Bees almond and milk hand cream. It's like in a pot. This was a very unique texture. It was super duper thick. I feel like this would be perfect for like 
winter days. I just so happened to finish it off now because I had it. It was like the last hand, hand lotion that I had for a while. So I finished this one off. It definitely is very moisturizing. And yeah, it would perf it would be perfect for if your hands are like dry and cracking in the winter time, um, then I would definitely go for this again. And then the last body care item is just this little mini from Replica and this is Lazy Sunday Morning. I really like this scent, but it did trigger my asthma. So I would not get it again, but if you like fresh clean scents, this was really good. So a random here, I just finished off this degree motion sense deodorant in Move Fresh Coconut. I really liked this coconut scent for summertime. It was very on theme with my coconut routine and it worked really well. So love that. I have a couple of wallflower refill empties. I did just replace them with some intro into fall scents. So I'm really happy about that. Finished off apricot and green fig and this was in my bathroom. This was a nice kind of fruity, a little bit sweet scent. It's apricot, sandalwood, and creamy coconut. Definitely didn't get any coconut, but it was like a nice fruity scent. And then downstairs in our laundry room, I finished off coconut lime breeze. And this one is zesty lime, lemon verbena, and sheer coconut. Just a really awesome summer scent. I did finish off one makeup item, and that is the Mary Kay Under Eye Corrector. And this is just like a pinky corrector. I use it every single day that I wear makeup. I'll put it under my eyes and it just cancels out blue. So love that. I definitely I think I've already repurchased it. So I'll just be using that. A couple of skincare items. I had some little minis that I wanted to go through this month. So I had these three little samples. This one is a drunk elephant sample. This is the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. And I liked it. I didn't notice like a significant difference. So I don't think I would purchase it but it was nice to be able to try it. Also finished off this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I actually really enjoyed this because it was kind of pore filling, um, which I wasn't expecting. So I really did like that. And then finished off this, I don't even know how to say this, In Beauty Project Bright and Tight Eye Cream. How would you say that? I don't, I don't know, but yeah, this was fine. It was a color though, which I don't really enjoy a colored eye cream because I already put on a color corrector. So yeah, it was kind of odd. And then I have this Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum that I also finished off. This is not a mini. I think this is their full size and it's one fluid ounce. So at least you can travel with it. Um, I liked it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take a break from hyaluronic acid because it doesn't feel like it does a lot for my skin right now. Maybe my skin is just used to it. So I'm gonna take a break from hyaluronic acid and come back to it later, but I used to love it. Now it doesn't really do a lot for my skin anymore. I am feeling very like Charlie from Twilight in this <laughs> flannel, you guys. Also finish off this chapstick in vanilla latte. This came in like a pack for Christmas a few years ago and it smelled really good. It smelled like coffee, so that was really fun. Um, another skincare item, I finished off this Clear Proof Clarifying Cleansing Gel from Mary Kay. This one I use every night and it takes off makeup really well, so I have already repurchased it. And then my tried and true Garnier Sleek and Shine Hairspray, which I also finished. And I probably finished one of these, well, Ryan and I both use this like every other month. So we love it, it works really well and it's not too, like helmet head hairspray, so. So let's also go through my August reading recap. I read five books this month, but two of them were just like short story novellas. So technically I only read three books and two short stories, but I'm still gonna count them and say I read five books. <laughs> so the first two are actually from the Powerless Duology, which I think is gonna be a trilogy. I don't really know for sure but I read the first book and then this is a little like kind of side story that goes on during the first book so this is Powerless by Lauren Roberts and I bought this a couple months back I've been really excited to try this and pick it up so I really needed a break from Throne of Glass to be honest with you guys it's just such a long book that I know it's gonna take me a long time and it's very like emotional heavy. So I kind of just wanted to escape Throne of Glass for the month of August and go into a different fantasy world. So I read Powerless and this one was really fun. It is giving like Hunger Games mixed with like Sky High <laughs> where everybody has powers and your main character here does not. So that's why the name of the book is Powerless. 
and she is put into this like Hunger Games kind of combat for her kingdom and she meets the two princes of the kingdom and it's a really I would say good starter fantasy book because it's not too much like there's not too many elements going on there's not too much you have to remember and the writing style is definitely YA like very I don't want to say elementary but compared to Throne of Glass it is very elementary and feels kind of like a Wattpad romance but it is a really good story there is minimal romance honestly not like a ton um just like a lot of build up and like I think one kissing scene um but it's just I think a really good adventure book and the ending was really good I liked that so that is Powerless by Lauren Roberts I give it like a 4.5 stars because it's really good oh Kai wants to get on the bed it was really good but again it kind of was juvenile so it was still a good book and I enjoyed it especially near the end it got very high stakes so that was really awesome and then this is the like mini side story about her friend about the main character's friend and this is called Powerful and I actually liked this one better than I liked Powerless I really really like the the character Adina in this um, she is like the main character in the other book's best friend and she meets this guy named Mac and he's kind of hiding and we don't really know a lot about him but we discover at the end you know what his story is and I just think that this was such a good book really about like not the main character being you know like a powerful warrior she doesn't have like crazy powerful powers she isn't like a total badass she's really more of like a feminine soft girl and she really radiates sunshine she is such a bright personality and she is such a sweet person and so it was really nice to read a story based around that kind of person as the main character versus like always reading fantasy books that are by like badass biker chicks <laughs> i really enjoyed this one i wish there was like a full book of just this kind of story so if you have any recommendations for me of like a very feminine main character in some sort of fantasy romance would love to see that or even just like romance um, because they're always like biting sarcastic women and I just want to see something with like a bubbly personality so let me know if you have any recommendations but I gave this one a five star review and then another book that I read and this was an audiobook was The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston and this one was so good I have to buy it in the um, paperback because I want to keep it and I want to reread it so this story is about Clementine and her aunt's apartment that she inherits and it's got this like special magical aspect to it that I'm not gonna spoil but um, this magical aspect to it which is very not super fantasy I would say it's just like a little bit of magic and she meets a chef named Iwan and he is so cute I just really really liked him and I like this type of genre about this magic I'm not gonna say what it is so I don't spoil it for anybody but um this type of magical genre is one of my favorites and one of my special interests so I really really liked this I think the male main character was just such a cutie and such a sweetie it was also nice to see our main character Clementine kind of grow into um discovering more about herself and she grew as the book went on so I really loved it it was so good I gave it five stars I would totally recommend if you guys like romance it was kind of like a little bit heart-wrenching but it is not like a like depressing story um a little bit heart-wrenching but still a beautiful story um then i definitely recommend reading this and i see it's on a lot of people's like fall uh tbrs which is a to be read list i think it is kind of cozy it's definitely not set in fall it's actually set in the summertime but if you wanted to read this in like september i think it would be a great book to read then um it's not spicy though there is like makeout scenes which is really hot but it's a closed door romance which means like they say oh they went to the bed and then they wake up the next day so you don't get to see any of that stuff it's kind of just like you know like a tv show does that but i thought it was amazing and i'm definitely gonna reread it once i get the paperback co copy and then i finally finished the hades and persephone series from scarlet st Clair. so i finished the final book a touch of chaos and this one was so good i think it was the perfect cap to the series and I gave this one a five star review. This one had both Hades and Persephone's viewpoint in it. And this one is another Greek mythology book. It's about kind of their love story, how they met, 
um, and then also kind of defeating somebody who's trying to overthrow the gods. And it was a really, really good book. I enjoy reading battles, which is like really weird to me. I don't enjoy watching violence on screen or watching battles on screen on t my TV or on movies. Um, but I really enjoy reading about it. So this one was good because it did have like a couple big battles in it. It was a great finale to the series. I really enjoyed this series. Would totally recommend if you guys are also like Greek mythology people or if you like really spicy romance because these books are super spicy, like four and a half to five chili peppers on spice. Um, and sometimes honestly, because I'm what, seven or eight books into this series, I just kind of skipped through it because I was sick of hearing it. But um, if you like hearing or reading super spicy books, I would definitely recommend this one because it is very. So, and then the last book I read was this novella from Allie Hazelwood and it's called Stuck With You. And it's about Sadie and Eric who are work rivals and they get stuck in an elevator. So I think it's, it was pretty fun. I would give this four stars. It was a fun book. I like Allie Hazelwood's writing because she writes about strong steminist women. So women in STEM, they're always pretty funny. <laughs> she has really funny dialogue. And so it's always a pleasure to like read one of her books, especially if I'm reading it in an audiobook. And that's what this one was. So it was really nice and fun and simple and easy to read. It was just like a nice palate cleanser after reading a couple fantasy books. So I really enjoyed it. And I would definitely recommend Allie Hazelwood's books in general, but her little novellas are nice little palate cleansers. So that's it for my reading wrap up. That's it for my August empties. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Not a ton of stuff, honestly, but I feel like I was using up the last little bit of summer. So now I'm free to use all of my fall scents. So I'm really excited about that. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.